Hey guys, today's video is about the underwater world. We are going to find out if color is important for fish. Many people know that fish caught in different waters, with different bottom colors, have different colors. On the muddy bottom, the fish will be dark in color, and on the sandy bottom, the color of the fish will be light yellowish. That is, the color of the fish depends on the habitat. And will there be a preference in the color of food, depending on the color of the bottom? Let's start our experiment with aquarium fish whose habitat is blue. We will use semolina as bait. Pour into a container, about 10 grams, and add a little water, and then knead thoroughly. After 10 minutes, semolina insisted and got such a small lump. Put it on the table and roll it into a sausage. And then, cut it into equal parts with a knife. For four balls of five, we need bags in which we will make coloring. We have four kinds of food coloring, yellow, green, blue, and red. The dye is harmless to living organisms, but your hands can get dirty, so wear gloves. We take a bag of red and add a little dye to the semolina. Literally a few squeezes and the dough is colored. Even during the break, you can see how well everything is colored. In the same way, we colored the semolina blue, yellow, and green. One lump remained white for comparative analysis. We pinch off some dough and make a little ball, or rather, five little balls. Everything is ready for the experiment, the goldfish is ready, we can start. The first piece of colored semolina sinks and the fish does not notice it. Only after a while of exploring the bottom did the golden crucian find the first piece of semolina, and it was a red ball. I wonder if the color is important or if it is just a coincidence. We'll soon find out. After a while, the white, then green and yellow pieces of semolina were swallowed almost simultaneously. But the blue ones stayed on the bottom for a long time. To tell the truth, we lost sight of it at some point. It merged with the bottom, but it was also swallowed. Overall, after the first attempt, the red one gets the highest score. On the second try, the situation was similar. Only this time, the transparent perch was the most skillful and grabbed a red piece of semolina. But it spat it out twice. It seems that the predator does not like such a treat. But the goldfish is omnivorous and started its meal again with a red ball. After a while, it started with yellow semolina then white and green were eaten, and the blue one, like last time, lay on the ground for a long time. And to consolidate the result, try number three. This time the Chinese Crucian carp already knew that food falls here and was ready. Yellow, blue, green, and red semolina were eaten almost at the same time, exactly in that order a whole mouthful of food that had to be chewed for about a minute. And then the fish came to the white ball. This is the final table. The goldfish behaves like a bull. It is so attracted to the red color, although the yellow is not far behind. We move to a pond with a sandy bottom. More precisely, it is an abandoned sand pit that has been flooded for 50 years. I wonder what color food will be preferred by the fish that grew up in such an environment. First, we kneaded a colorless bait with the taste and smell of garlic. Then we added colorants, red, yellow, green, and blue. 
The color scheme is similar to what was used for aquarium fish, only the amount of food will be more. We will fill the feeders. More precisely, in five different feeders, four colored and one without dye. Total in front of the camera located five feeders on a yellow platform in the color of the sandy bottom so as not to arouse suspicion among fish. We lowered our construction under the water and began to observe. After two minutes, the first fish have already approached, but first they collect the food that has been scattered from the feeders on the bottom and on the board. The choice of color is not yet clear. Let's continue our observations. And here came the first fish that chose the food of the red color. And literally, immediately, there were those who wanted to taste the yellow food. And then, and near the source without color, gathered a school of fish. Actually, this type of bait and became the fish in preference. It is colorless collected near itself, the largest school of fish. Total food without color was a clear favorite. In second place close in color, yellow food. Red was eaten only at the beginning. They swam to the blue twice in half an hour. Green was of no interest at all. Apparently, there is enough green food in the form of algae in the reservoir. For the next experiment, take four cans of paint and paint four areas on the board in four different colors red, green, blue, and yellow. All in all, we have a multicolored board, on which we've placed the winner of the last experiment, colorless food. Let's say we replace the fish's familiar ground with a colored one and check the reaction. I wonder which color the fish will prefer to collect their food from. The most annoying thing is that we had a small miscalculation. In water, all objects appear closer due to refraction. After the dive, only the yellow and blue zones remained in the frame. Unfortunately, we only discovered this when we reviewed the footage. But even in these frames, we can see that the maximum concentration of fish during all 30 minutes of filming was near the food located on the yellow background. However, the fish that grew up in the sandy bottom conditions are more accustomed to feeding on the yellow bottom. This does not mean that the other backgrounds scared them away. They ate well from blue and green, They ate red less well, but they did not swim past it. After removing the removable platform from the water, our expectations were confirmed. Most of the food remained on the red. On the yellow, they ate perfectly. Blue and green were a bit worse. But green is still in second place. Probably the color of the algae played a role again. For the next location, we chose a pond in a village not far from the city. The most important thing is that here, the bottom is muddy, and here, we can check which color the fish will choose from birth, feeding from the black bottom. This time the set will be black, the color of the bottom. 
It is said that fish on black bottoms prefer brightly colored food. Our bait fits this description. It remains to find out if this is true. We lower the construction underwater and it is immediately obvious that there is nothing to see. The water here is so dirty because of the muddy bottom. To be more precise, we can see that our lure is very interested fish. There is a lot of it here and it is obviously bigger than the previous place of shooting, but what it is eating is not clear. After changing the location, we found a spot on the reservoir with more transparent water. But even here, it is obviously dirtier than the sand pit. And strangely enough, in the more transparent water, the size of the fish was smaller and the pack itself is bigger. Although maybe it is bigger because the visibility is better. As for color preference, the fish occasionally nibble green and red food, ignored and blue. More often it collected food from the bottom that fell out of the feeder. When removed from the water platform with feeders, it became clear that in comparison with green, yellow eaten well, red a little worse, didn't eat blue food at all. But without dye has become an unequivocal favorite among the food on the bottom of the black color. Although if you take into account only colored, the brighter yellow and red clearly surpassed blue and green. Surprisingly, the result is very similar to that of the sandy water. How will it be with colored board and food without color? We took into account the previous shoals, where due to the effect of proximity, the colored zones were not fully visible and found a cleaner body of water. It is true that the fish were smaller here and there is much more algae, but this will not affect the experiment. In fact, there is nothing to note for half an hour, ate only food on the blue background. Those who are used to collect food from the black bottom perceive the colored bottom with apprehension. That's all for today. Bye-bye.